What's up guys, Kenan and here. In the previous video we've talked about a disc brakes versus caliper brakes on the road bikes and today we're gonna be talking about a mechanical disc brakes versus hydraulic disc brakes. If I was to make this video just in one minute I would tell you that the hydraulic brakes are not the best brakes in the world as, as some people think. This is not the best braking system for the bikes. I mean they can be very good and there is a lot of people using them but these are not the best ones. Um, and I'm just gonna start with the advantage of using the hydraulic brakes. People who first uh, bought the hydraulic brakes or bike with the hydraulic brakes uh, uh, were really amazed by the feel of the, um, of the lever. It is very, very smooth. There is almost no friction between the, the oil and the housing here. So these just feel very good. If we look at the mechanical system, we will feel right away that we've got some cable uh, in the housing here and we can feel that. Maybe you can even hear that. Yeah, so there is no such thing here and the more force we are applying on the lever the more friction it creates between the cable and the cable housing so we are losing some part of our finger por uh, force um, for just friction not for the braking power here there is no such problem so um, hydraulic brakes give us a very good feel and strength and modulation usually but it doesn't mean that the disc brakes aren't strong. And believe me, using those uh, road-specific uh, levers for braking in some heavy terrain, uh, which I've already went through with this bike, is not that easy. But I'm still able to just ride on the hoods in the terrain and just brake like that. And this is just enough for me, really. And now when we compare those two, uh, I would say the first and foremost thing, the simplicity. This system is super easy, very, very easy. We've got the cable, we've got the caliper, and that's it. Here we've got the housing with the oil inside, and we've got the caliper that we are not able to adjust. So, disadvantages of the hydraulic brakes are, these systems, especially when the, these are very super light uh, brakes, are prompt for overheating. Here we've got absolutely no overheating. This system uh, we have to bleed uh, quite regularly, it depends on the model, but bleeding the system some, sometimes can be really a pain. Here, no bleeding at all. This system, there is no adjustment. There is no adjustment in this system. This one here, let me just show you how many options you've got. You've got the barrel adjustment on the lever, You've got another barrel adjustment just on the caliper. Then of course you can uh, unscrew this um, Allen bolt and then adjust the um, tension on your cable. And here you've got another option to adjust your brakes according to how they wear down. So this stuff is just easy, it's very good. This one is much more complicated. This one will usually be cheaper this one can be very expensive and I would say that the most expensive brakes can be uh, really the, the most difficult to maintain. So maintenance and simplicity is just great advantage of those uh, mechanical brakes. These are still very strong and I'm, I'm very happy with these uh, Tektro Spire easy brakes. One more thing also connected to the um, adjustment is that when you adjust your mechanical brakes they will usually just work like that. There is no friction whatsoever between the pads and the disc brakes. And with the hydraulic system, it's not that obvious. We've got a brand new Cannondale here, and you can hear something like... I hope that you could hear it. The disc is somewhere touching on one of the pads, I think it's the left one, and you are not really able to adjust that. And I know quite a few guys who, after taking off and putting the wheel on the bike, back on the bike, they have to adjust the position of the caliper again in hydraulic brakes. 
So it's not that obvious with the disc brakes. I would even say it's very obvious. These are not the best ones. It depends uh, very much on the model. I had been riding some Avid Juicy, super awesome on my Cannondale scalpel. I've been riding Magura Marta, super light uh, disc brakes. And I wasn't that happy with them, especially in the heavy terrain on the long descents. But I'm also happy that I purchased now this uh, Merida Cyclocross. Uh, because it turns out for me that the mechanical disc brakes can also be a good option. Uh, you just go for a SRAM website and read about uh, their mechanical um, range of the brakes. They will just tell you plainly in the description that their BB mechanical disc brakes are much easier to adjust and maintain uh, than their uh, hydraulic disc brakes. So if you thought so far that the hydraulic brakes are just the best option for any kind of uh, cycling, you should really consider getting a mechanical brakes if you are thinking about disc brakes. I know quite a few guys who are really complaining about the super expensive and super cheap hydraulic brakes and not that many actually who complain on these uh, mechanical disc brakes. If you've got some more suggestions in this topic or any questions, just put them below the video and I'll be happy to talk with you. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon in another video. Bye bye.